This is the Nissan Rogue. It's a leading contender in the compact SUV market. But is it a safe option for you and your family? Let's do a comprehensive review of this Nissan's crash test results and crash prevention technologies. First up is the small overlap crash test. In this test, a vehicle travels at 40 miles per hour and only 25% of the vehicle's width strikes the barrier, which concentrates the force in a small area. The Rogue's structure had a moderate amount of intrusion on the driver's side. The upper compartment had 12 centimeters worth, which is worse than most new vehicles. Fortunately, all injury measures in this evaluation are low. Overall, the Rogue earned the highest score of good on both the driver and passenger sides in this test. Let's now see how rear seat passengers are protected in a frontal collision. To assess this, we have to look at the updated moderate overlap crash test, which contains a dummy in the rear. Unfortunately, the Rogue struggled in this test, scoring the second lowest rating of marginal. The main issue was that the lap portion of the seatbelt shifted from the pelvis, where it should remain throughout the crash, to the abdomen. The rear dummy's head also came in close contact with the front seat back. Sensors indicate a moderate risk of injury to the head or neck. Overall, the Rogue's results in this test are disappointing. Next up is the updated side impact test. This evaluation simulates what would happen if the Rogue was struck on its side by a 4,200-pound SUV at 37 miles per hour. This Nissan scored an acceptable rating. The structure performed well. The space between the seat center line and B pillar comes in at an adequate 19 centimeters. Unfortunately, the Rogue has inadequate head protection. The driver and rear passenger heads made contact with the window sill and C pillar, respectively. This is disappointing as the side curtain airbag should prevent head impacts with hard surfaces. Hopefully, Nissan updates these airbags to better protect against head contact. Having a strong roof is crucial during a rollover crash, as it can help maintain the occupant's survival space and reduce the risk of injury or death. Stronger roofs can also prevent occupants from being ejected from the vehicle. The Rogue withstood just over 20,000 pounds of peak force. This is enough to earn the highest rating of good and should ensure the roof won't collapse in a rollover collision. Let's examine the technologies that can help avoid collisions. The automatic emergency braking system uses radar and other sensors to detect a potential collision and autonomously applies the brakes when a collision is imminent. Nissan's system underwent testing at speeds of 12 and 25 miles per hour, and in both instances, the vehicle completely avoided a collision. Let's now evaluate the performance of the headlights, as they play a crucial role in reducing the extra hazards that driving at night can pose. Only one type of headlights is available on the Rogue, and it earns the highest rating of good. The low beams performed well in the straightaway and the right curves, but fell short on the left curves. The high beams had sufficient visibility on the straightaway and the gradual right curve, but fell short on the sharp right curve and the left curves. Overall, the Rogue performed well in the small overlap and roof strength tests. It has excellent automatic emergency braking and strong headlights. However, it struggled in protecting rear seat passengers in the updated moderate overlap test and has inadequate head protection in side impact collisions. Despite these several challenges the Rogue experienced, the reality is that, at the time this video is published, the competition also displayed concerning events. The dummy's head in the Toyota RAV4 dangerously moved outside the airbag's coverage in the updated moderate overlap crash test. In the same test, the Subaru Forester had a moderate risk of a rear passenger chest injury. The Chevrolet Equinox had an even higher risk of injuries in the same evaluation. The Ford Escape did well in this test, but unfortunately, had inadequate protection in the updated side impact test. One potential bright spot is the new Honda CR-V. It performed well in multiple front and side evaluations, but at the time of this video's publication, it still hasn't been tested in the updated moderate overlap crash test. If the CR-V makes it through this test with no significant deficiencies, it will become the safest option in the compact SUV class. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to see more captivating videos about auto safety.